Hi, I'm Janet Ingle, the Five Minute Read Maker. In this short video, I want to introduce you to the parts of the American Oboe Read Scrape, and I'll show you how I go through my basic construction process. I'll go into more detail about each step in future episodes. The Oboe Read comes in three main parts. The tip is the thinnest part, and it's the top two to five millimeters. It's definitely not uniformly thin, but rather slopes out to the corner so that the sides and the tip are the very thinnest part. So it slopes that way, slopes that way, it even slopes this way. So here is where you are the very thinnest. This is where your initial response is going to lie. Now the heart down here is the thickest part of the reed and it sits directly below the tip. It's four to five millimeters long. It's almost always shaped like a little house with a rooftop on the top and a flat part below. The thickness of the heart determines the amount of resistance that you get in the reed and the transition from the tip to the heart right here can be really influential on your sound and stability. Almost everything that I do to a reed in my finishing stages comes in sort of this area. The back is comprised of two windows. Each window is thinner than the heart, and there's a sense of slope toward the tip, so it gets thinner this way. Um, some people would just refer to this whole region as the windows, um, but I generally talk about the back. It's here that you'll most strongly see the spine up the middle of the reed, although that sense of thickness does continue through the entire reed. And it's here that you'll see the bark on the sides of the reed. It's called the rails down in here. So here I have a blank. I wound it yesterday onto the tube, but I haven't done any scraping on it yet. When I begin to rough in these reed areas, I start with a long scrape that basically removes bark in the shape of an oboe reed. I start at the tip and I'm pretty aggressive because I know it's all going to come off eventually anyway. And then I'll gently move that scrape a little further back. You notice that even at this early stage, I'm not, I never scrape directly up the middle of a reed. I'm always thinking about scraping on the left side or on the right side, and then maybe allowing my knife to uh, remove bark in the middle, but I'm not ever going straight down the center. Here I am putting the back in as well. And at this point, I'll go ahead and clip it open. Hopefully at this point, I'll be able to at least make a little beep on the reed, even though it won't crow or certainly play. Um, that'll show me that I've gotten enough taken off to get started with. Next, I'm going to put the tip in, and I'm just going to set my knife right along the rooftop and curl that cane away. Snag it and curl it off followed by just a little bit of scraping to smooth things out. This way, I've automatically, with every scrape, got not only the angle of the rooftop involved, but a sense of slope out toward the sides and up toward the tip. Here it is on the other blade. Okay, once I've got that, I'll do just a little very gentle polish in the heart, just smoothing it across, and then I'll work in the back. Here again, I curl the cane right up to that line at the bottom of the heart, which for me is about 60 millimeters. Strongly leaving the spine and protecting the rails or the bark at the side of the of the back. I've got to polish the heart on this side too because I didn't do it before. Uh, and at this point, um, the reed should at least crow, if not play beautifully on the oboe. And that's ready to be put to bed overnight. I find that I get the most stability and longevity from my reeds if I make them over three or four days. But on this first construction day, I don't mind going all the way to a loosely playable reed. That way I have a sense of whether it has potential or not, and I can finish it tomorrow and give it a final polish the next day. Now I'll be happy to talk about all of these steps and more. You can leave a comment here or find me through my website at JanetIngle.com with any questions you have. I would love to hear which five minute video I can make for you next. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.